Hey everyone, it's Brian with the Unlocker.com, and today we're here with two different Motorola devices. We've got the Droid 4 on the left and the Droid Razor on the right. And today we're going to be talking about a preloaded application that comes with both of these devices and presumably all future Motorola devices, and that application is called Smart Actions. We're going to take you through the application, tell you what we think about it, and then uh, show you a little bit about how it works. <music> Alright, so I'll be honest, the very first time I heard about Smart Actions, I very much dismissed it and said, you know, here's a uh, you know, manufacturer installed piece of bloatware. Uh, and I hadn't really played with it in a while. And, uh, you know, while I was you know, doing all my testing with the Droid Razor and then now the Droid 4, you, you know, I'm looking at it going, okay, is this something that is actually useful? I mean, is this something that people will actually like? I'm a type of person, I like to manually turn my ringtone down. I like to manually change my wallpaper. I don't like something automating that for me just because I, I'm kind of a control freak. And, and a lot of you watching these videos probably feel the same way. Uh, I, I'm kind of leaning away from that now. I started playing with Smart Actions, and it's really a very useful app. There's a couple of little quirks about it um, that make it uh, so it doesn't work quite properly all the time. Uh, but for the most part, Smart Actions is a very useful tool if there's certain things that you end up doing all day, every day. You know, you get to work, you turn your ringer down if it's your personal phone. Or you get to work and you turn your ringer up because it's a, uh, a business phone. And, and, you know, obviously you want to be able to receive calls during the day. Whatever the case may be, Smart Actions does have a variety of things that you can automate. And that really does uh, end up being a beneficial thing if you get involved with... Um, you know, with, with making a lot of changes on your device between work, home, at the movies, uh, if there's other places that you go uh, where you're there often and you want your device to do certain things and you don't want to forget to turn it off uh, when you go into the movie theater and say you go to the movies, you know, once a month, uh, you know, then presumably, I mean, that could become a problem uh, if someone's trying to call you and you're in the movie theater and then you're that guy so uh, or gal. So anyway, we're going to go through this and show you a bit about how it works now. All right, now you can see that I've got four active profiles. I've got home, uh, charging reminder, work, and then car. Uh, basically, all of these are uh, actions that the phone will take and the program will take when specified events occur. Uh, when you start, you're not going to have any profiles or rules, as they call it, set up. So what you're going to want to do is hit the plus sign here, and you're going to want to add a new rule. Now, you can add from a sample that Motorola has provided, um, or you can just start entirely from scratch, or you can even copy from an existing rule. Uh, for right now, let's go with add a sample, and I think most people will want to do this uh, this way. Um, so here are some of the sample rules uh, that we have. Um, and all of the ones that we have uh, used are no longer here, right? Because our, our work and our, our home and our car have all been selected. So we don't see those rules anymore. Uh, but with these, you know, we can go to workout, for example. And then we get triggers. And these triggers are uh, inputs that the phone must have. Uh, in order to activate that profile. So with this, basically the only trigger is once you uh, install the headphones, workout is now enabled, right? So you could add additional triggers as well and say, you know, location, time frame, only if your battery level is at such a level. Uh, although that doesn't make a whole lot of sense in all cases, but you could make it so that when you plug in your headphones and your battery is less than 50%, it doesn't allow you to listen to music. Don't know why you'd want to do that, but you could. Um, you know, whether or not it's charging, that obviously isn't really applicable here. Uh, your display, incoming calls, missed calls, these are all the various triggers that you have. And really, not very many of them make sense with the workout rule. Uh, so, probably the headphones there would be the only one we'd want to you know, pay attention to. Now in terms of actions, you can have it launch your application, in this case music, and that makes a lot of sense. So uh, if you activate this, this profile, so we're going to go ahead and add the rule, now you can see that the workout uh, rule is ready. And then you can also see what will happen when we plug in headphones. Alright, now that we've got workout which has been added, um, you can see that we do have home active because obviously I'm at my house. Uh, what we're going to go ahead and do now is we're going to plug in our headphones. And then you can see that instantly music pops up. Now the reason this does this is because if we look here under smart actions, we can see that now we've got two profiles 
uh, which are both met, workout and home. Uh, presumably once we started you know, jogging or, or riding a bike or doing whatever, if we got far enough away from our house uh, that the GPS detected we were no longer uh, within our home region, you know, which is based on my address, uh, then it would shut off the home and continue the workout. Uh, but from here you can see the Motorola Music pops up and you can go ahead and uh, launch this. Now you can customize this so that you can say, okay, here's the workout. We want to launch application, but we want to launch a different application. So let's say we want to launch Pandora instead. Uh, we don't actually have Pandora on, so let's let's go ahead and do Slacker. Uh, Pandora is not installed on this device, so um, so you can tell that we've got Slacker on here. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to unplug. We're going to go ahead and save that profile. Okay. Now we can see that Home is the only one that's currently selected, and we can go ahead and we can plug our headphones back in. And now, here comes Slacker Radio instead of the default uh, Motorola Music application. And I don't have Slacker, Slacker set up at this point in time. But you can see uh, where that's very customizable and you can make it do a variety of different things. So uh, that's basically how you add and how you create a rule. Uh, I will give you a couple of hints about what works and what doesn't work. So uh, uh, there are a few quirks to this. And one of them is that GPS, uh, if you if you use an application like uh, like car right obviously you want to have GPS included uh, if you use an application like or use a rule like home uh, then when you create that if you have GPS to turn off while you're at home then when you leave the house oftentimes it's not very quick to uh, to understand that you've left because your GPS services have been turned off so GPS and Wi-Fi if you use a lot of location based switching GPS and Wi-Fi should remain on. I know it's a battery drain. I know that you could turn it off. But if you want to use Smart Actions and you want Smart Actions to actually work for you and work well, then and you're going to use location-based switching based on you know where you are, then you definitely want to leave GPS and Wi-Fi on all the time and don't let any of your profiles shut those off. Um, the way you can change that, if we go to uh, like we go to my work one. Uh, you can see I've got my location in there, and we can uh, you know do a variety of things. You know, we turn the ringer volume on to vibrate. Um, we can send a text message. Uh, so all these different actions, right? We can play a playlist, uh, launch an application, launch a website. Uh, you know, we can have a notification pop up. So if we have to remember to do something every single day then we can send a notification to ourselves that says, hey, go change the, uh, the backup drives in the server or something to that effect uh, that gives you and prompts you and reminds you of something that you just can't seem to remember on your own. And we all have little tasks like that where, where I'm sure that would be handy. Um, but here you can see where uh, the rule automatically has GPS to set it off. I don't want to turn GPS off because there's a lot of times where I'm in the car and then it still shows that, you know, I'll be a couple miles down the road and it'll still show that work and car are both active. I'm no longer near my work, yet it's still activated because my phone doesn't know where I am. So don't turn off Wi-Fi, don't turn off GPS if you're using location-based switching. Obviously, if you're using time-based switching, uh, which we could do from like this charging reminder. So this is telling us, you know, time frame, evening or night. And we can come in and we can specify. So evening is from 6 to 10 p.m. And then night is from 10 to 4.03 a.m. And those times can be uh, completely customizable. So you can set up those. And then basically, uh, if you're not, or if you're in the, the time frame of evening or night, and your phone is not charging, and your battery level gets to less than 35% in this case, then it's going to send a notification to you to please charge your phone. Uh, you can change the battery level and you can make it whatever you want. So whether it's uh, you know, less than 70, less than 50, less than 35, uh, 10, 20, you know, that kind of stuff. So um, that gives you a notification if you're one of these people uh, like my wife who doesn't seem to know that her phone is dead until it's about to die and starts beeping at her. This is a, a friendly kind of reminder for you. Uh, your phone starts chirping, you think you might have a text message, 
and in all actuality what you have is your phone telling you hey you forgot to charge me and you want me to remind you of that so smart actions is really a very useful uh, application uh, I have found myself using it uh, I do I depend on it no not really because I still you know just my nature I check to make sure that the work profile is actually turned on and that the home profile is turned on and, and I'm, I'm, I'm a little too OCD uh, to really get into these kind of applications just because I have seen instances where they didn't switch and that doesn't make me completely comfortable using it um, but I'm going to check and I'm going to do all those things anyway so really for me am I going to use smart actions probably not um, I have been using it and it does work but it's if you like to have things automated then this would be a great solution for you if if not you're more like me and you, maybe you're a little OCD then maybe you're going to want to uh, to just leave that off consider that you know another piece of bloatware and move on with your day now if you don't have a Motorola device and you still want something that will do this there's a couple of applications they're going to cost money but they're not too t terribly expensive um, the two applications are Tasker and then Locale and I've used both of those uh, just briefly, just kind of playing with them. Um, locale, the thing I don't like about it is that it uh, charges you for uh, additional upgrades. Uh, not upgrades, but like plugins. Like the application is cheaper than Tasker, but with Locale, you have to get an upgrade that says, okay, if I charge my headphone or plug my headphones in, you're going to actually uh, launch this music application. It doesn't do that natively. And there's a few things you need to buy, you know, 99 cent plugins, which maybe that works for you to me I don't like the way that works I'd rather pay the you know 699 or whatever it is for uh, tasker which is definitely a more expensive application but everything's built into it you may be able to get it for cheaper on locale for how you use it uh, but those two applications would be your best choice if you don't have a Motorola device and you'd like to use uh, an application such as smart actions uh, but this is uh, just a brief run through just to show you how it works uh, for any of you that have dismissed this like I have uh, it is going to be coming to more Motorola devices I, I see no reason why they would stop it um, it's something they can kind of hang their hat on and say you know we're making the smartphone smarter that type of thing uh, but whether or not it works for you is you know going to be a little bit of trial and error it does give you a couple of cool things uh, like it'll give you new suggestions like here you've got nighttime battery saver and low power saver so based on your on your usage it'll recommend a few things those suggestions are kind of general so it's not like it's incredibly smart uh, but it does prompt you for new things and it's pretty e easy for the uh, novice user to be able to set this up so anyway there's my run through uh, I hope this helped you if you have any you know comments please go to the unlocker.com and uh, post those down below and uh, again this is Brian and I will talk to you next time. Thank you very much.